am not wrong. He wants You're her wrong. to leave. No, I'm not wrong. He <laughs> wants her to leave. That's why he puts her on a plane. I don't think she wants to stay. Of course she wants to stay. Wouldn't you rather be with Humphrey Bogart than that other guy? I don't want to live in Casablanca for the rest of my life married to a man who runs a bar. I probably sound very snobbish to you, but I don't. You'd rather be in a passionless marriage? And be the first lady of Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Then be with a man you've had the greatest sex of your life with just because he runs a bar and that's all? <laughs> yes! And so would any woman in her right mind. <laughs> Women are very practical, which is why Ingrid Bergman gets on the plane at the end of the movie. Mm, I understand. What? What? No, nothing. What? No, no, forget about it. Forget about what? No, it's not that important. No, just tell me. You obviously haven't had great sex yet. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. It just so happens that I have had plenty of good sex. With whom? What? With whom have you had this great sex? I am not going to tell you that. Hmm. Fine, don't tell me. Shell Gordon. Shell? <laughs> Sheldon? No, 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 no. You didn't have you didn't have great sex with Sheldon. I did too. No, no. Sheldon can do your income tax. You need a root canal? Sheldon's your man. But humping and pumping is not Sheldon's strong suit. It's in the name. Oh, do it to me, Sheldon. Oh, you're an animal, Sheldon. Oh, ride me, big Sheldon. It just doesn't work. I'll have a number three. Um, I will have the chef salad, please, with the oil and vinegar on the side, and the apple pie a la mode. But I like the pie heated, and I don't want the ice cream on top. I want it on the side. And, and I like uh, strawberry instead of vanilla, if you have it. And if not, then no ice cream, just whipped cream. But only if it's real. Uh, if it's out of the can, then nothing. Not even the pie? Oh, well, well then, just the pie. But then not heated. Uh-huh. What? <clears throat> Well, so, how come you broke up with Sheldon? How do you know we broke up? Well, if you didn't break up, you wouldn't be here with me. You'd be off with Sheldon the Wonderschlong. First of all, I am not with you. And second of all, it's none of your business why we broke up. No, you're right. You're right. Don't, I don't want to know. Well, if you must know, it's because... He was very jealous. Mm. And I have these days of the week underpants. Eh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I, I need a judge's ruling on the days of the week underpants. Oh, yes. Uh, they had the days of the week on them. And uh, I thought they were sort of funny. But then one day, Sheldon says to me, um, you never wear Sunday. It's all suspicious. <laughs> Where was Sunday? Where was Sunday? And I told him, but he wouldn't believe me. Why? They don't make Sunday. Why? Because of God. Okay, so... 15% of my share is 96... 90. All right. Let's see. Um... This leaves seven. What? Oh, do I have something on my face? Uh, you're a very attractive person. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Now, Amanda didn't tell me how attractive you are. Well, maybe she doesn't think I'm attractive. <laughs> now, I don't think opinion has anything to do with it. Empirically, you are attractive. Amanda is my friend. So? And you're going with her. So? So? 
You're coming on to me. No, I wasn't. Uh-huh. What? Okay. Can't a man tell a woman she's attractive without it being a come on? All right, all right. Let's just say, just for the sake of argument, that it was a come on. What do you want me to do about it? All right, I take it back, all right? I take it back. No, you can't take it back. Why not? Because it's already out there. Oh, jeez. What are we supposed to do? Call the cops? It's already out there? Just let it lie, okay? Great, let it lie. That's my policy, let it lie. Want to spend the night in the motel room? Let's <laughs> see what I did there. I didn't let it lie. Harry. I said I would, but I didn't. Harry. I went the other way. Harry. What? We are just going to be friends, okay? Great. <laughs> friends. <laughs> That's the best thing. Yeah. You uh, realize, of course, that we can never be friends. Why not? What I'm saying is, and this is not a come on in any way, shape, or form, is that Men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. Well, that's not true. I have a number of men friends and there's no sex involved. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you only think you do. You were saying that I'm having sex with these men without my knowledge? No, what I'm saying is these men all want to have sex with you. They do not. They do too. They do not. They do too. How do you know? Because no man can be friends with a woman he finds attractive. He always wants to have sex with her. Oh, so you're saying that a man can be friends with a woman he finds unattractive. Hmm, right? nah. <laughs> you pretty much want to nail them, too. What if they don't want to have sex with you? It doesn't matter. Because the sex thing is already out there, so the friendship is ultimately doomed, and that is the end of the story. Uh, I guess we're not going to be friends then. Yeah, I guess not. Well, um, it's too bad, because you're the only person I knew in New York. Well, thanks for the bite. Yeah, well, it was interesting. Nice knowing you. Yeah, well, have a nice life. You too. <laughs>